Welcome to a new episode of BrainNet Executive Talks. Today we are primarily talking about logistics issues and then therefore we have with us Roland Dimbert, um, the head of purchasing and logistics of Rodenstock, a leading manufacturer of eyeglass lenses. Welcome Roland. Hello Markus, it's good to be here. Roland, when one thinks about a global complex supply chains and uh, the, their risks. Um, what are the main challenges of the Rodenstock supply chain actually? Well, uh, although Rodenstock is a mid-sized um, company in a rather small industry, we do rely on um, complex global supply chains. For example, our biggest production site is located in Thailand. We source about 35% of our purchasing volumes from Japan uh, and many materials contain rare earth. So we were affected by uh, the recent disruptive events like uh, the tsunami and nuclear catastrophe in Japan or the current flooding in Thailand. Uh, our key challenge in logistics is really that um, lenses are typically sold by pairs. So we are facing millions of small orders and each order is really um, customer individually produced. And all that happens within four days. That's basically our key challenge. In your specific case, um, what is the strategic impact of purchasing, especially logistics, and how does this function contribute to uh, the overall performance of the company? Logistics at Rodenstock covers a wide range of functions, from planning and inventory management, uh, to order processing, and from warehousing, uh, to master data management. So we are really at the heart of the whole supply chain, keeping it together and keeping it working. I'd say our core task is to align the supply chain structures, the processes and the systems to fulfill the market requirements. Uh, ultimately, our task is to keep this complex system running at a 98% reliability. What about purchasing? How does purchasing cope with these obvious challenges that you mentioned? Well, for purchasing, the situation is a little bit different. Uh, we see ourselves as a key value driver within the organization and a main contributor uh, for synergy potentials um, and savings. So um, especially over the past three years, we were heavily focused uh, on realizing savings. Um, among that um, is a project together with you, you may remember, in 2008 and 2009. Uh, looking at the year 2009, a very critical year, we were able to achieve savings of well above 5%, which greatly helped uh, our company in the critical situation. Uh, overall, uh, the recognition of uh, purchasing within the company and uh, the total importance has greatly increased over the past five years. Roland, what do you consider the most flashing trends in purchasing and logistics and how do these trends uh, affect your function at Rodenstock? The single most important change that I can see within our company as well as other companies uh, is the shift of paradigm from the fully optimized supply chain in terms of cost, working capital and performance to a more robust supply chain design uh, focused on securities security of supply. Um, as already mentioned, uh, events like the tsunami and nuclear catastrophe uh, in Japan and the current flooding of Thailand uh, really affected us. So uh, we changed our approach to supply chain in many ways. Uh, on the logistics side, we increased inventories, semi-finished and finished products. Um, we hold a two-year inventory now for all materials containing rare earth. Uh, on the purchasing side, we intensified uh, a lot of partnerships with critical suppliers. We even took uh, some equity shares in critical suppliers. We were urging suppliers to develop business continuation plans by themselves. We uh, are qualifying alternative suppliers. And for our most critical point in the supply chain, our production site in Thailand, we have created a complete backup scenario involving new production technology in the following production step that enables us to greatly reduce um, the complexity of materials we need to produce in Thailand. How, do, how long would it take to uh, shift from, from a current production scenario to a backup scenario? Um, depends a little bit on the specific product. Um, 
I'd say in general, it's somewhere in between uh, six and 10 weeks. Uh, that's the time that allows us to shift uh, to alternative sources. And the meantime, we cover with inventories. Roland, let's take a look into the future. Um, considering the strategic plans of Rodenstock, um, how is purchasing and even logistics involved in these plans and uh, which role uh, do these functions play in the future? On the purchasing side, uh, it's more important than ever to really work on every euro spent. We really see ourselves as the internal experts to, identi to identify the savings potential in every euro spent. To give you an example, we are currently working on a project to take the purchasing of marketing, um, of marketing materials and marketing services to a whole new level using approaches like um, target costing, joint planning, long-term planning. Purchasing will be uh, an integral part of every major marketing project. And we will really accompany every single activity within the organization that eventually leads to spend with our sense for savings. On the logistics side, we will continue to develop into an international service unit, helping our sales units to best fulfill our customers' requirements. This is mainly centered around managing and reducing complexity, uh, flexibility and life cycle planning. Overall, the goal is to make it easy to do business with Rodenstock. Roland, thank you very much for this intimate insight into Rodenstock's logistics and purchasing issues and uh, well, all the best for the future. Well, thank you for giving me the chance to talk to you. It was a pleasure to be here.